Right, so, first of all, just been to the hairdresser, so if my hair looks looking really red up there, I apologise. Second of all, I'm going to try really hard to keep facing on the actual camera rather than the screen this time. So, I just wanted to do this quick video because I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about like the, my YouTube channel, how it works and how it runs and stuff. So if you're not interested, feel free to tune off because I'm not going to talk really about nails much. Um, right, I've got my notes. Um, so, first of all, why did I start my YouTube channel? I mainly started it because um, I had a lot of people following me on like YouTube, not YouTube, on Facebook and stuff like that and saying, oh, how did you do this and how did you do that and stuff. So it was more because people had asked for it, so I created it um, with the main purpose to kind of show people. So when people say, oh, how did you do this nail or that design, I could say, oh, here's the video. Uh, so basically just because you guys wanted it. Um, um, I f do all of my filming on my phone. Um, and I edit it all on an app on my phone um, and on the whole um, I, I do enjoy doing it really you know might as well if I'm doing a set of nails I might as well record it but I just wanted to kind of go in a little more in depth as to what that kind of entails um, also I've got a really squeaky chair if you hear that in the background that's my chair not my bed um, so first of all the filming so when I have my clients come in it would normally take about an hour and a half, two hours to do um, an average set of nails, really. And when my clients come in, it adds 15 minutes to half an hour to every visit they have to film the nails. Um, and that's just things like um, setting up the camera, getting all the lighting right, um, using like my tripod, trying to make sure it's, it's a little harder to work when you're constantly like there's a camera here and your hands are there so you're constantly like <laughs> so it just it slows down the appointment a bit i'm not complaining but i'm just kind of saying that's that's how it works um then once the video is obviously filmed they need to be edited um that depends on the video it can sometimes take 15 minutes if it's just a quick design to edit a video but on whole i'd say on average about an hour per video to edit it get it how i want it get all the pictures and graphics and everything right and then i need to do the voiceover so obviously that depends and that's another reason i have split my videos now because if i do a 30 minute long video i tend to do the voiceover like all in one go and 30 minutes is a long time to just be constantly talking so if I split it then I've just got like three 10 minute videos and I find that easier to um, just voice over really um, and then after all of that then I have to obviously upload it onto YouTube and then I do like the advertising and schedule the post to say to people hey there's a new video so on average every week I spend between six to eight hours doing things for YouTube so um, that's basically one working day is spent creating content for people on YouTube. Um, and now I'm going to tell you the, um, the really honest thing about it. So I obviously, as you've seen from my videos, they are all monetized. So which basically means that um, there's a little ad at the beginning of every video and I get like 0.001p for every ad that's shown. Um, an example of that is, so if I was to post three videos a week, for a month that's 12 videos in the month um and if i get even if i just get like 2,000 views on each so that works out at <laughs> two times 12 is 24 so it'll be like 24,000 views and i earn on average a month from youtube about 100 pounds um which better better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick but <laughs> when you then kind of break that down is not it's not really worth it and again this isn't me having a um like a bitch or a wine video or anything like that i'm not going oh you should be all so thankful i do this it's nothing like that it is me just saying giving you a bit more of an idea of what goes into being a youtube uh creator um and what we kind of Get back so obviously I, only, I have quite a small channel i've only got 25 26 000 subscribers so the people with like hundred thousand or like million subscribers they obviously can make a decent income from it um but for the the smaller ones like me and a lot of other people there isn't really any money in it because if you look at 100 pounds a month so on average i do one working day a week so most months have like four weeks in so divide that 100 pounds by four very simple maths 25 pounds a day 
Um, and when you've worked like say eight hours in that day, it, it works out at three or four pounds, something like that. So I'm on pretty much half of the national minimum wage for England. So when you then put it like that, it is, you're basically getting, you know, three, four pounds an hour to create everything. And again, I'm not complaining, I'm more than happy to do my YouTube videos, but sometimes people do kind of comment on, oh, your, your phone keeps focusing and auto-focusing and stuff like that, and sometimes the, like sometimes there's a bit blurry, or there's a few errors with like the music, like the music seems to be the biggest thing <laughs> with this, It's um, which kind of leaves me a bit, I don't really understand that, because you're getting a free video, I'm, I'm trying to teach while I do it, so I'm explaining what I'm doing, I'm showing you what I'm doing, and a lot of people then focus on, oh, I hate that music. Well, don't listen to it. It's on in the background very, very quietly. Ignore it, kind of thing. It's it's free. So a lot of the time I've replied to these comments just going, well, it's free. You're not paying for this. You're getting a free service. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have the money to invest in a really fancy pants camera or really good lighting. Like, I already have got... I've tried about five different tripods, <laughs> which hasn't been cheap. I've got my normal desk lamp, and then I've got these two big lights right above my desk like this, so I feel like I'm in a tent when I'm working. Um, you know, I've kind of done as much as I can on my budget, um, so I'm basically now saying it, it's all free, but I came up with an idea the other day. Um, I'm going to start adding a donation button. Um, so that in, in the bottom of all of my videos, there will now be in the link, um, in the description, a little link to a page on my website for donations. And what this basically is, I'm going to have things I'm working towards. So at the moment, I'm trying to save up for a really nice fancy pants camera that won't keep focusing on auto-focusing um, and that will get much better quality videos and stuff like that and better pictures and stuff so that you guys can all appreciate you know, you can all kind of see clearer and the quality will hopefully be better. But I am going to do this, I'm going to set up a donation page because then I can say whenever people complain, um, you know, about the music or the quality and stuff like that, I can say, well, if you'd like to make a donation so that I can get better equipment, you're more than welcome to. Um, again, I want to stress, I'm not complaining, I'm not changing my YouTube, I'm gonna to continue to do my YouTube how it is, continue to run it that way, but, I just thought this would be a good option um, to try and raise some funds to um, just kind of move up a level. Um, as I said, you know, I don't expect people to donate. I don't expect you all to go, oh, well, she needs a new camera, so let's give her 500 quid. I'm not saying that. But if you have found my videos useful and you have appreciated um, the time and effort gone into them, and if you would like to show a little bit of thanks, it's 50p, a pound, five pounds, a tenner, whatever you fancy, if you would like to give a little donation, um, and then I will be able to invest in better equipment and you will get better quality videos. But yeah, so that was it really, that's all I really wanted to say in this video, just to kind of remember guys, it's, it's YouTube, so it's free, you're not paying for this. So the music I play is, is free, um, I get it from YouTube, they have a creator studio and you can download certain music that you don't have to put credits on your videos um, and I just do that because I, I forget, um, you know, it's just another thing to put in my notes um, so I will go through those maybe once every couple of months, find a couple of tracks I like and then they will be on my videos for the next few months um, again, I just don't really have the time to sit and keep changing the music and um, if you don't like my icon in the corner, um, sorry, it's going to stay there because again, I'm a business trying to, I'm not trying to take over the world, I'm not trying to become mega rich, I've just got bills that need paying um, and at the end of the day, um, if you want things changed and you want things better, then I would encourage you to always go to, you know, pay for your education. <laughs> that sounds really harsh, I know. But at the end of the day, if you, when you watch anyone on YouTube, and this isn't just me, this is everyone on YouTube, if you don't like the way they speak or the way their hair is done or um, you don't like their baby in the background, because I know I follow Liz and I know a lot of my followers follow Liz too, the amount of times people comment about the fact she's got a child in the background, she's a mother, I think she's a mother of like five. How she has the time in the day. I forget to feed my dog some days, so... It amazes me that this woman can raise five children, be a nail tech, a successful nail tech, have loads of clients, sharing videos with people for free, and then people complain that they can hear a happy baby in the background. Like, it's mind-boggling what people complain about. So, um, 
gone a little off subject there. But my point is basically, um, YouTube is all for free, but if you want to help and you want to donate and you want to help me get a nice fancy pants camera so I can start putting out better things, then um, yeah, I'm gonna add a donation button. So in future, if anyone wants to have a complain or whine, they can just donate some money and then I will buy better equipment. And then you can complain and you can whine because you've been supporting me and you've funded me doing better fancy pants things. So then if I'm not delivering it, you can tell me off. So that's it really, that's my little ramble for the day, so um, yeah, so thank you very much for tuning in, for listening to me blathering on, um, and that's it really, so thank you very much for tuning in, hope to see you all soon, I would love to hear comments on input below, um, remember keep it constructive and helpful, if you're just going to be a mean bitch I will just delete the comment, pardon my language but it's true. So, um, I think I did much better focusing on the right bit of the camera. And then I keep looking over here, so I'm like... <laughs> it's like, I keep making you think there's someone behind you. Sorry. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so that's it really. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, that's my ramble. And there will be other proper Noli videos coming again soon. So, bye! No, I did it wrong. Bye!